Robert Oss here, reporting for Skies Magazine from Viking Air in Victoria, B.C., where Viking recently invited Skies Magazine to test fly the 45th Viking built Twin Otter Series 400 aircraft. I had the opportunity to fly with Viking production pilot Chris Denko as I put the factory new Twin Otter through its paces. The Series 400 flew exactly like, dare I say, a Twin Otter. Steep turns, slow flight, and stalls could only be described as easy. It has the stable, steady, predictable feel that has made the Twin Otter perennially popular and presents no unexpected challenges to the pilot. Agile, nimble, responsive? No, those aren't words that leap to mind about the Twin Otter's handling qualities, but one quickly grasps the impressive capability of the machine. The slow flight regime is where the Twin Otter really shines. By deploying the generous, full-span, double-slotted Fowler flaps to their full 37-degree extension, you can see a 23% flap-induced decrease in stall speed. Those are powerful flaps, and they define much of the unique personality of the Twin Otter. Those big flaps produce tons of lift, but there's no escaping the fact that they likewise create considerable additional drag. I wanted to see if all that drag in the landing configuration could get the pilot into trouble. At 6,000 feet, Denko and I configured the aircraft for landing with 37 flap and commenced a descent to an imaginary runway 5,000 feet in the air using the published 64 knot approach speed. Just as we were about to touch down, I convincingly imagined that a moose bounded out onto the runway in front of us and commenced a balked landing. By prearrangement, our left engine also suddenly failed, and I was left to contend with a single engine overshoot with full flaps. Conducting this test well below maximum gross weight was far from a worst case scenario. However, the verdict was that although the balked landing was a bit technique intensive, the Twin Otter is not so muscle bound by its powerful flaps that it can fly itself into any dangerous corners. The story of the Twin Otter today is the same as it was when the design emerged from the drawing board in 1964. There are faster turboprop twins, but customers buy a Twin Otter because it does things that other airplanes simply can't do. There is some rugged and inhospitable regions on Earth, and f pilots flying conventional, runway-bound people movers would naturally consider those areas inaccessible. The Twin Otter, whether on wheels, floats, or skis, changes the equation from having nowhere to land to suddenly having everywhere to land. Viking Series 400 Twin Otter is an airplane that will take you places. Reporting from Victoria, B.C. for Skies Magazine, I'm Robert Oss.